Hey, Tyrell, how you doing? What up? Nice to meet you. Can I have a hug? You're oh. fine, man. Nice to meet you. How you feeling right now? Good. All right. So tell me, um, you're here for a big moment. Yeah. When was the apparently. first time you heard about your father and heard his name? Um, a potential father. To be honest, I didn't even know there was a guy named Steven once in my life before. Because uh -huh. the name that I was told was never Steven. Got it. And so this is going to be the first time you ever see Steven today? Yes. What are you thinking about? What are your thoughts? Um, I don't know, for real, to be honest. Yeah. It's a lot I of just, process. I, just if you're my dad, then he owes me a lot. This is, this is going to be more than what I have to ask him for. Makes but sense. if he's not, then I don't know. How long have you been waiting to know this information? Uh, it's pretty much ever since I was okay. I was able to speak and walk and do everything. So what would your mother say to you when you'd ask her about your father? Uh, it was more like, um, she'd be like, oh, you know who he is? Because the name on my birth certificate was a guy who I really thought it would, and she would tell me that he was a rapper or some other joint. I was like, oh, uh, all right. And then, 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 I found, then I started to realize, I'm like, there's no way, there's no way that's my dad, because if he was a rapper, that would be, that he would be able to, to support me and support any, anybody else for real. So she told you he was someone famous? Yeah. Ah, wow, okay, got it. How did you not knowing this information about who your father is, Put a strain, did it put a strain on you, the relationship with your mother? Um, a little bit. It kind of did hurt, and I did uh, distance myself from pretty much like half my family because of that. I just took time and really thought about it, and it just, it, it hurts to grow up and not have one. And as I'm growing up, I, I also grew up without my mom. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it's, 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 as I'm growing, it, it hurts because yeah. I don't really have nobody beside me. So now, now that I have my aunt, which is, I'm glad that I have my aunt because she's really working hard to help me and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know. I hear that. Um, so why was your mother not in your life? Um, I think about like six or seven, something happened. Um, she told me not to tell school and I went telling anyway. So it separated, and then I went through DCF, and then switch, switch, and then. So something stuff. happened, and she told you not to tell the school, and you just said something at school. Yeah. And it, yeah. I, I need you to know before we go any further, because I used to work with kids who were in that situation, and sometimes you can think it's your fault that you were separated. It wasn't your fault because you were honest. I need you to know that. Yeah. It wasn't your fault. Just because, just because an adult said, don't say anything, and you said something, that's not your place to hold a lie or a secret. It's your place to always feel safe and secure. And you should just know that. Um, so how's your aunt relationship with your aunt? Is it good? Oh, it's more than good. I, it's, I take my aunt as if, like, she a real parent. Like, she's, she's probably, like, the best parent you can ever have for mm. Do you love her? More than anything. Good, 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 good. Well, listen, I'm gonna have you go back to the green room because while I figure some things out with your aunt, your mom, with Steve, this potential, your potential father, I wanna make sure that we can talk as adults and you don't have to be involved in any of that. Okay. So I'm gonna have you hang in the green room and then I'm gonna come and get you when it's time. Does that work? Yes. All right, perfect. All right, Great. thank you. Listen, you, you, you're very intelligent man. <laughs> you know that. Very intelligent young man, okay? All right. All right. So when did you first tell Tyrell about um, his father. Well, I haven't had that conversation with Tyrell since he was a kid. Um, he was under the impression another guy was his father. Mm -hmm. So he said he put there was a rapper on his. What rapper name did you put on the birth certificate? That's the guy. What he did is, so he said he went behind my back and he did his own DNA test, and he wasn't the father. Why weren't you in Tyrell's life? I had custody of Tyrell when he was a baby, and I had to fight for custody from the alleged father because me and him had joint custody, and he took the baby, ran and hid for three years. I found the baby because he enrolled him in school. I dropped my lease in Connecticut, and then I moved to New York, and I, that's how I caught the DCF case. So why is he not living with you now? He doesn't want to. Okay. Do you want him to? 
I do. You do want him to. I do. And um, because I feel as though he needs structure. He needs discipline. He and you need... don't feel like he gets that in your sister's house? No. That's why he wanted to go there. So he, because she gives him leeway. She, let, she lets them be men when they should be, when he should be a child. Mm. Okay. So do you agree with her or disagree with what she's saying? I disagree with what she's saying. So she was saying that she feels that he only lives with you because he gets to be a man and he doesn't really have strict rules or anything. Do you put him, do you have discipline? I let room? him make the choice on how he wants to live his life. If it's okay. a good choice, follow through with it. If it's a bad choice, you're going to hear about it. Got it. Okay. He's going Dropping to out job. Of school he's going to Job Corps because he wanted to get a trade and I wanted him to get a diploma. Mm -hmm. He's actually going back to Job Corps. He leaves Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you feel like your sister ever took responsibility for what happened? I don't feel like she's taking responsibility for anything that's ever happened. Mm -hmm. That's a lie? What are you talking about? There's always an excuse for something that's happened. So at the end of the day, I don't get involved because it's not me. I got my own problems. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like I take responsibility? Koisha, I've been out here. I take care of them kids from a distance. How that's do you think fine. they come and find I me? Don't... And because that's what I they're supposed to do. Kids. You're their mother. So what am, what am I not doing? You're their mother. They're supposed to come find you. What am I not doing? I never told him he couldn't come see you. I never told him he couldn't talk to you. What I told him was yeah, you need he, to have a conversation me, with your mother. No, if he talked to me or if he come and visit me, then he got to deal with you. And you no, have he an does not. With him. No, he does not. I've witnessed it. You witnessed it. nothing. What I said to him was... I asked him, what was your point and what was your purpose? When you come at him with a vulgar attitude and you're talking to him crazy, you I'm don't have that mother. right. Remember, you said that. When was the last time you were in contact with Steven? Monday. Monday. Was... But prior to Monday, when was the last time you were in contact with him? Like two weeks before that. And then prior to that, it was like a couple... Like, maybe a year, I kept in contact with him. Oh, so you've been keeping in touch with contact with him throughout the years? Yeah. So he, so have you ever at any point told him that he has a child? That he potentially has a child? I told him when I found out that went behind my back and did the DNA test. Well, let's see what Stephen has to say about all this before we get to the DNA outcome. So everyone, please welcome Stephen to the show. Her son should know who his father is, you know what I mean? I yeah. he's, you know, he's grown and stuff like that at the same time, so... If we find out that Tyrell's your son, what will change for you, Steven? You know, a lot would change. I would have to, my family and my kids, we would have to be a part of his life. Got it, you know? okay. So you're open, you know, you're open, Steven, to him being your son. Of course I am. Any, yeah. you know, I feel like my father wasn't there in my life, so if, if, if he's my son, I'm gonna be there. You know what I mean? You know, Got even it. if he's not there, even if he's not my son, I would like to, stay, you know, be there for him. He could talk to me or contact me, you know what I mean? Because I understand when you don't have that father figure around. Yeah. Listen, I do know that there has been a father figure that's been in his life. Quasha, it's your boyfriend. Lamond is your boyfriend's name? Yeah, they have yeah. a good relationship. Yeah, I was hearing that from my producers. He and definitely he's definitely not no role model. <laughs> I heard today that he's here. Lamond, can you get step up for me? Definitely not no role model. Uh, Lamond, thank you for being here. So, how do you feel your relationship with Tyrell is? It's strong. Um, so from your point of view, does um, Tyrell have a good relationship with your girlfriend? Of course. They do. She, listen, they talk all night long mm -hmm. <laughs> to the point where sometimes I can't sleep. Yeah, <laughs> got it. I asked him backstage <laughs> if he loves you and he said he loves you very much. I know, he made me cry. Yeah. Mm. Hey Tyrell, how you doing? So listen, I've been talking to your aunt, I've been talking to your mother, I've also been talking to Steven. And um, we're about to get to the point now where we're going to um, get the truth, the DNA outcome, to find out if Stephen's your father. I want to ask you if you feel, if you feel, you want to come in? Come on in. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you if you feel as if you want to come out there for these results. Either way, we're going to bring the results to you so that you can find out. Um, but I want to know, do you feel like you want to sit out there and receive these results? Yeah. You do? Okay, then. And you feel secure with that? Yes. Okay. This is why I said ask him. I knew he would want to sit on the stage and be able to see the person and voice his own opinion. Okay, then. Okay. I want to make sure that you're always protected. 
whatever the information is because I don't know the results. If it's positive or negative, I want to make sure that the adults are able to have conversations without you feeling like you're in the middle of it, like you have to protect anyone. So I just ask for you that if, no matter what these results are, that the adults he on knows, the stage don't have any conversations. He knows he can talk to me about everything. Listen, you have two adults that we know. Your mother's out there as well, but we know for sure with you coming back here, you have two adults that will be able to manage and help you and support you. So let's go on out and so you can get these answers. All right. Okay? I am trying. I am trying. Yeah, I can try. <laughs> this is never my truth to open. So which one of you like to open this? You want to open it? Right. You can sit back down. And if you could read it out loud for us. Steven is not Terrell's father. Oh. Okay. You okay? I'm about it. Okay. Okay. Steven? Sorry, Steven. Thank it's you. all good. Let okay. me say something, though. At the end of the day, man, you know, if you still need somebody to talk to or anything, Feel, please feel free to highlight me, man. Your mother got my information. I'm not um, your father, but I could be your friend. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you, Stephen, so much for being here. I have to tell you, I find something very difficult right now. Is that when we heard these results, your first response was to say sorry to this man and not to your son. What is, what is your thought right now? Yeah, it's a lot to process. I understand, I understand. I have no thought, I kinda seen it coming. Yeah. Your mother said she told you about another man named did she? I told you it was two possibilities. <laughs> I told you it was two possibilities. <laughs> Yo, who's bro? I told you the one your grandmother keep bringing around you. Your grandmother brought around you? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Who's <laughs> He's seen her. No. No. Yes, he has. No, no I have not. not. Yes, I still talk to so to hold this on. Day. So what I don't want to do, you got that information. Lamont, would you do me a favor? I know that you've been a support. You and Lamont have a good relationship, right? Yeah. Um, would you do me a favor? You can come on down here. I think it'd be great for you to come down. Um, yeah. Tyrell, again. I ain't never seen him. Tyrell, I think, Tyrell, I think you've been, no, 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 no. I'm going to ask y'all, actually, would you take him backstage for me? Of course. I think y'all been great. Oh, Tyrell, yeah. you've been awesome. I'm going to come back there and talk to you some more. I want you to go back there and y'all can be the support each other. Okay. What I have witnessed right now, and the reason I didn't want him around this, is that, that infuriated me. That infuriated me. I mean, more than you can understand. Like, I'm actually shaking in my legs because for me to watch you as his mother apologize to a stranger and not to your own son gave me all the information I needed. It showed me about your concern and where you're at. Okay, I think what you have to do, and this is honesty, is that you have to start understanding that, unfortunately, you have not been the best mother. No, I haven't. Okay, then. I went backstage to go talk to your son. And when I turned around, I honestly thought I would see his mother. And I saw his aunt. His mother figure came and protected and made sure that I gave him free choice and free will and made sure I was there. I'm giving you a roses. I saw what happened. I'm going to apologize because my tone was not what it should have been. And it was not for you to feel like your past choices, um, that I'm here to judge them. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sincerely mean that. My intention by doing that, though the impact was different. Yeah, because was... if I knew you wanted me to get up and, and run back there, I would have went back there the whole day. Hold on. So I gave you an apology because I want to make sure you understood that... I understood your point. Now, you're, you saying that I, if I wanted you to, this is what I mean about your instincts with him being his mother. Your son was backstage and getting information about a critical moment in his life. You did not come. So what I want you to understand is that if you want to have a better relationship with your child, you have to make, you have to make amends and peace with yourself. Your own words was, I feel guilty. You have to release that guilt. Because the only thing that guilt is doing is keeping you clouded of the information you're giving him, is keeping you clouded of giving him support. That's the only thing it's doing. And the feud you have with her is only going to drive more of a wedge between you two. 
Because again, why I brought up him, her running back is that in his mind, the person who ran back to protect me, to make sure I'm there, wasn't mom. So if you start talking about the woman who is protecting me, who do you think I'm gonna defend? That's what your son is doing. He's like, this woman has my back, this other woman does it. So for him to understand you have his back, you have to make peace with the fact, yes, I wasn't a mother that you needed. Have you ever said that to your son? Yeah. Have you? I've had conversations with him, and I apologize to him for not being there for him. Because what I wanted to do the most was be there every single day, every waking moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to bring your son back out here because I can't, I'm not going to re-trigger him. He's 17, and I'm not going to redo it. If you would like me to help you with another DNA test, I will keep paying for them because he deserves to know who his father is. And I think also the transparency that you have, if you want my advice, is tell him you're going to try to um, find this because he deserves it. Use that type of language. My second piece of advice is that you're going to have to make sure that you give her respect when it comes in front of your son because this is the person who's taking care of her. It's the same thing, vice versa. She got to respect me too. Um, I'm not any I less of a woman. I don't speak negatively about you around your son. I'm pretty good at discerning character. I don't character. care how you feel either now. Okay. Do you care how your son feels? Absolutely. So then take my advice and only talk good about her when you're around him. And tell him what you're going to do through actions to show him that you love him now. Okay? I'm telling you, that's the only way you're going to reconcile this, where he doesn't turn 25 or 30 or 40 and feel like he doesn't know you and that he doesn't love you. But no, you have he to loves his mother. Yeah. He does. I believe it. I believe it. She's telling you that he loves you. I know but that. before that, lo that love is lost, because you had a tipping point. This is where he's going to have to either see the respect for you and the love for you, or it will tip the other way. So do that work. You, you keep up the good work. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. I wish you both the best, and I'm here for both of you if you need any more support, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank You're welcome. You.